Hello everybody, this is Vertical Sandwich, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. And we are back in the Dale Pub. I came back here, I'm not going to show you the journey back here and stuff, but I came back here for this. I know this is ridiculous. Uh, but there it is. Okay. And now I think what I'm going to do is actually finally show you what the Timber Maniac magazines do. Ugh. And then, um, the game plan is this. We finished the Shumi Village, we finished all the side quests I can think of that I want to do. So now, I'm going to go around, I'm going to show you some random monster encounters where you can collect items for the ultimate weapons. So I'm going to take you, first I'm going to take you back to, uh, Garden and show you that. And then I'm going to show you some places where you can, and some monsters. What does this guy say? Who is this guy? Check out my cards, brand spanking new. Well, it would have to be after that giant monster came running through here anyway so um what we're gonna do is where was i what we're gonna do is i'm gonna show you some some places where you can hit monsters that will drop items that are important for ultimate weapons yeah and uh that that cleanup's gonna take a little bit actually because there are a lot of them we haven't really done a lot of monster exploration we haven't really shown a lot of items for ultimate weapons so, and other important kind of things before we go into the underwater research lab. Once we finish the underwater research lab, we will be going straight into disc four. I promise. So we're getting there. Slowly but surely. What am I, what, what, what? Oh yeah, we want to go over here. I'm sorry. I'm actually glad we didn't, um... Uh, Okay, so this I told I told you we could get um, deals here. What uh, adamantoses is where we could run into them. This is there may be other places you can run into adamantoses, but this is the place to be. So what you're you're gonna hit those fish a lot, the fish that pop out of the ground. I don't know what they're called. They're fish. They're obnoxious. Okay, I think we're in good shape for our junctions. I just wanted to make sure we didn't have something crazy junction that would give life back to adamantoses. Because that would be a problem for us. The fish, I'm not so concerned about. Uh, by the way, those fish, any of those coasts, any of the coasts in this in these worlds have those fish as like the primary enemy. I'm assuming this will probably be them. If it's not, I want to show them these things. Okay. And I'm not going to show you me battling them. I'm going to battle them. Uh, and the reason is, they give it 3 AP apiece. So, like, when you hit three of them like this, it's 9. 9 AP, so... It's not a bad deal. It's no Cactor, but... Alright. So, we're still looking for Adamantoses. These are going to be choppy videos. There's going to be a lot of battles cut out. Like that one. Which, you're not going to have to watch. So sorry about that, but, uh, you know, I feel that this stuff is important for kind of... For getting a handle on the game, anyway. I have gone to post-commentary, by the way. We are not. I thought I could do this, but, uh, getting about... Uh, not even I didn't even get very far into this before I realized that this was the kind of thing that I was just gonna have to cut out to, like a lot of travel and uh, some running around and stuff. So, and uh, we got a little beat up fighting those stupid fish. They're hard to kill. They are. They're it's so. Anywho, getting back to reality. These are adamantoses. Okay. And, uh... They drop the most important... Well, maybe the second most important... Thing. In... Building ultimate weapons. Again, you can get that item. You can get the item you need. By refining, uh... Like, the sacred cards or something. You can get ten of them. So, Odin did her job for us. Which actually may be a good thing. I don't know, maybe you can't mug Adamantine out of Adamantosas. 
So there we go, we got Adamantine, which it gives a GF the Vite plus 60% ability, which is so, who cares? However, <laughs> uh, there are like four ultimate weapons that need it, so. In fact, I think there are exactly four. So, if you can get four of them from running around on this coast. I think I actually already have three. I think I got one from a boss, and I think I got one testing this to see if it worked when I saw that it like if it worked with any consistency all right well that was more fish that you won't have to watch so really at at this point in the game uh, we have um, we have refined some items to get the uh, uh, the spell pain mainly curse spikes and I'll show you where to get curse spikes because actually they're one of the ultimate weapon things. Because we've been doing some grinding of our own, mainly on the island close to heaven. Anyway, and uh, pain is going to be our main weapon now. Because uh, it does a whole host of kind of uh, status attacks. And your status attacks are going to be really important for fighting kind of bigger, badder monsters. We're going to also use Doom Train, although, uh, again, Zell still has Berserk as his static a a status attack, which is going to work really nicely against these guys because they tend to have a tendency to heal each other, which is not a good thing. So, uh, we're only going to, we're going to defeat these guys because Odin didn't come in and do our job for us, so you can get kind of an idea of how strong they are. They're pretty tough. Yeah, they do this. They do White Wind. And look at that. It says like 6,000 points of, uh, you know, and they're, and they're, they've got pretty high defense anyway. This should take care of their ability to heal them. Did I show that you can, you can boost GFs by holding select and hitting the square button? Like once they learn the boost command, you can boost them up. You got to be kind of careful about it because eventually that X will come up and if you push it too many times when that X is up then it will go back to the original number, which is like 75. I guess two, I think 255 is the highest you can get it. And pretty much the only GF that you can, you can do that with any kind of regularity is Eden. Because the, the, the scene for summoning Eden is really long. So now we have Confused and Berserked and, I mean, it's just ridiculous what we've done to these. These poor creatures that are just trying to live their lives out. And apparently we've reduced their defense down to nothing, because suddenly Switch is doing, you know, uh, max damage to them, so. which is cool. Well, they still have the common sense to try to attack us, apparently. Oh, that's just, yeah, and then when they turn back to normal colors, that means we murdered them. But sometimes murder can be good, you know, when it's adamantosises that you're murdering. Right? 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 I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna pretend that that's the truth. Yeah, take that. Guys. Things. Deals. Whatever. Alright. Okay, so now we got that taken care of, and that was probably the lengthiest kind of explanation of how to get something that I'm probably going to have to go through until we decide to do Pulse Ammo. Ugh, Pulse Ammo. The nightmare that is Pulse Ammo. Which, of course, you need more than is easy to get to uh, to make switches. You need 12 for switch, and I, you know, I was lucky enough to get an item that refines into it on accident. But... You're, there's only one you're going to get naturally during the course of the game. And that's from the Crystal Pillar. The Crystal Pillar will drop an item that you can use either to give Quistus a new limit break, or you can use to refine into Pulse Ammo. So it's like picking a hand to cut off, you know? Do you want her to have really cool ability, like her last kind of cool abilities? Or, you know, the other thing. So anyway, we have to go back to the garden to show you where you see, um, what, uh, all those Timber Maniacs we've been reading do. 
And I cut out the trip because I didn't want you to watch me walk all the way through all that Fisherman Horizon garbage. And I'll cut out the trip back. So, you go to the classroom and you have to go to your computer console. And... Selfie has put up a whole bunch of really dumb stuff. So, she's got her, like, her, her selfie webpage. It's just rocking now with useless selfie information. So, you turn on the power. And I'll also show you what the- well, we're running around in here. I'll also show you what the stupid battle meter does. Like, with all the upgrades we put on it now. Because that's in here, too. So, sorry everybody. I'm sorry you're going to have to go through a couple videos of this, but... So Sir Laguna has a page now, and it was fate. I can't, I can't quite explain. This page is dedicated to Laguna. No, actually, I call him Sir Laguna. He's such a hunk. At least that's what I think. Yeah, and she'll just go through this stuff. Where I'll be posting some of Sir Laguna's articles here. Want to, want to see? Like, yeah, we do. According to the article, Sir Laguna gambled to try to cover travel expenses, but he lost it all and told how dangerous gambling can be. I guess he got in a little over his head. Hey! According to the article, this is Esther. I'm very happy Sir Laguna made it to Esther, but is this real? The city is so cool. Didn't she go with us? But I hear how there's nothing on the continent where Esther is. According to Sir Laguna, he ended up here when he got lost on the Esther continent. I hope Sir Laguna was alright, but what breathtaking scenery. And like, it just goes on and on like this. Oh my god, I'm not doing this for... Because Selfie's voice is obnoxious. So anyway, so he went to Balam and he likes hotels and he could he wanted to stay at the hotel but he ran out of money and wasn't able to try famous Balam fish which apparently stink really bad. And he went to the, with the Shumi tribe like the article says he got lost and injured but thankfully ended up here. Seems like Lagoon got lost a lot. <laughs> like okay. Um Shumi tribe, I want to meet them. Didn't she go with us for the, Oh, she didn't go for that. Okay, it's the entrance to the central ruins. You could see me in the picture. So, I, I don't know if you take her to these places. I don't know if the page changes and stuff. But, like, you can kind of keep track and, like, look at the kind of things that... Wow, Sir Laguna in a movie. If it looks like it was shot near Trabia. We can go to the place where the movie was shot if we wanted to, but... Right. He could have been famous. Okay. I just find it strange I don't see Ward in this picture. And it's because he's dressed as the dragon, I think. Oh, he's finally in Fisherman Horizon. This is where we he finally made it to Esther. I guess I'm kind of doing half a selfie, but it's just so stupid. Okay. Anywho. Uh, he's in high spirits after finding out he has to walk there. Yeah, and she just goes around. I mean, you can't read the actual articles. So, yeah, there it is. Oh, my God. And she has diary and friends and stuff. And you read little bios and stuff. It's so ridiculous. I guess it's something that, like, kind of adds on to itself as you go through the game. So, it fills in a little bit of Laguna's backstory, but not really kind of crazy awesome. Oh my god, I didn't know that stuff. So, we're done. We're done. We get to get out of this garden. Okay. So, now, uh, there are a couple things here. Um, first off... Wait a minute. Is, is there anything else we need to do in this computer thing? I don't think we do, do we? Like, I don't know. Leave me, uh, leave me a comment if you need to see this again. Ugh. I don't think... I don't think we've gotten all the Timber Maniacs. I don't think that we've done everything that we can do. But, uh... You know, what are you gonna do? So, I guess we should look at the Battle Meter stuff, which is all in the tutorial. And you go to battle operation. Oh no, that was not what we wanted. Is it in here somewhere? I don't think it is. Oh, you know what? I think that it might be down here. I think it might be an information. Alright. Sorry, I had to go check. Okay. So it's information. And there. 
Like, this is it. This is what it does. It tells you how long you've walked, how many battles, like, well, how many you've won, how many you've escaped from. Mo most of those 53 are probably marbles. And then you go character report, and how many enemies you've killed, and how many any enemies you've KO'd. Cypher got zero. Selfie's done 60, that's pretty good. Irvine's done 11. Adia's done 5. I should have stuck with Adia long enough to make her number higher than Irvine's. Yeah, okay. And then there's a GF report. See, so it's just this random, you know, and we almost never use the GFs. The GFs are worth it for their abilities, but they're, you know, their attacks are okay for some of them. I mean, early on, I guess that stuff works really well. Certain bosses. And then there's all this stuff in, <clears throat> you know, informations and terms and stuff, and but that's neither here nor there. Neither, he said. What's this kid say? The Garden Square BBS is so much fun. Okay, for all of those of you who don't know, which might be quite a few, yeah, uh, this garden sure has a lot of cuties, and then, like, cards I want to play with girls. All right. Uh, for those of you who don't know, BBSs used to be w were what existed before the internet. They were called bulletin board services, or bulletin board systems. And they were just computers that you could call, like, on a phone line, uh, to connect your computer to them and play games and stuff. So. So, yeah. And I used to do that a lot when I was a kid, believe that or not. And some of them, like, if you want... I mean, you should just look it up. You should just... So, the Treppies obviously are still keeping count of uh, how many enemies we've defeated. And I don't even care about you. Anyway. Alright. So now, we're on the, the cliff above Dele. And I should have done this before we went to the garden. But I forgot. And on this cliff, you will pretty regularly hit these snakes. These anacondas, they're called. And they're really good because you can get two items from them. And, like, uh, regularly you can get dragon skin. And dragon skin is good for two things. It refines to reflect. And it's the easiest item you can get that refines to reflect. Like, you can just with pretty... Um, pretty regularly you can get dragon skins from them. So, they're a good source for it. The other thing is you can get star fragments from them as well. And I think it's their rare drop. But we get one here. So. See, there it is. Ta-da! And star fragments are used in one or two of the ultimate weapons. So it's a good thing to note. We'll find a, probably a, a, a boss that more regularly gives us star fragments. Not a boss, but a, a an enemy. When we do later in this video. Because I'm trying to do kind of the basic stuff first. And then we'll get... I'm going to get another one of these so we can get dragon skins, and then we'll... Um, and then I'll show you how Reflect affects the status junction... Status defense junction. I know this is the most boring stuff in the world. You're just like, oh my god, vertical sandwich. I will at some point uh, show you my setup for junctioning for the... For the kind of final stuff we do. I mean, I'll have to do that. I'll have to show you a good jet up, setup junction, at least, for the final boss. And for the... Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to even put one together for the ultimate weapon. So, there we go. And there they are, four of them. And four is what you pretty regularly get. So that's, I think that equals 80 Reflect, which is cool. So we're going to refine some of those, because we have too many of them. I've been grinding for them, actually. So. I know, all this grinding I've been doing. But you've got to do it. You've got to do a bunch of grinding. Yeah, we've got five extras. So we can we can just make that into, uh, yeah, yeah, the, the five extras is perfect for just 100 Reflect. So now... We're going to go to Junction. I want to check and see what he's got. Now, he's going to need it, too. Well, we'll get that later. I'll get that off camera. But... Uh, see, she has Asuna and Holy right now. Wait, does she have everything she needs? Yeah, I think we're good. Sorry. Um, she has Asuna and Holy. And Holy does a lot. Obviously, Holy raises a lot of stuff because it's dropping a lot. But, like, look what Reflect does. Like, 42 on all of those. So. 
It's good to have. So anyway, we'll be leaving this area now and going to Centra and some other places to look for monsters. And uh, I'll catch up with you guys there. So bye, everybody.